Dottie, Dottie, and I am at the hospital right now. Um, I had to come in. Sorry, I'm trying to get you so you can see her and her beautifulness. I, I didn't have a brush with her. My husband just wrapped her up in a blanket and brought her to me. This is Shelby Lynn. This is my beautiful baby that Cloud Nine and Shelly's little dollies reborn and rooted for me. And she's just laying here on the bed with me, keeping me company. Um, so, we are just laying here. And I wanted to show you guys her new eyes. I gave her new eyes. Her other eyes to me were just, um, uh, they didn't look real blue. Does that make anything? They were like a Caribbean blue. Like, you know, they just didn't look like a real blue color. Um, if that makes any sense, like eye color wise. So we're sitting here and we're just relaxing. And I thought I would stop on and do a video. And I'm going to try to see if I can flip this around. I probably can't because for some reason this iPhone 11 doesn't have that feature, which makes no sense. So, give me a minute. I'm going to start back over. Okay, let's see if we can do this again. Okay, I'm sitting here at the hospital. I'm in Florida. They had to um, send me to Florida. Um, you guys know I've been having trouble with my breathing. And a lot of other stuff. Well, I thought my lymphedema was... Um, uh, bothering me and I had got so swollen and so bad I couldn't hardly move so I asked my husband I said just take me on to the emergency room and let's see let's uh, see what they say and so um, <clears throat> when I got there they did EKGs ultrasounds uh, x-rays of my lungs and stuff and then they come in and was talking to me and the doctors was like well how long have you had congestive heart failure and I stopped and I looked at him and I said excuse me he said how long has this been going on I'm like I have no idea I'm like what are you talking about and then by this time I started bawling my eyes out because that was my biggest fear um, that I was going to be told something like that. And, um, <clears throat> so my husband and I was in there and they decided that they were going to send me to West Florida. So I'm in West Florida right now. And, um, I'm getting really good care. I've been getting tests and x-rays and eco echograms and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, they kept asking me, you know, do you feel your heart fluttering? Are you feeling it? And I don't feel it. But apparently it's showing up on the monitor that I'm having my heart rate just flutters and jumps and flutters and jumps. And I told him, I said, I don't feel it. Whatever, whatever you're seeing on that monitor, I said, I'm not feeling it. I said, so I have no idea. I'm sorry, I got my hair up. It's, it was hot today. I had it down for the last couple of days. Here, let me take it down, show you guys. It's gotten really long, really super, 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 super long. And it's got, yeah, I got a brush. Ooh, I look like a hot mess, girlfriend. Ooh, anyways, I'll put it back in a ponytail a little bit. <clears throat> anyways, so, <clears throat> They sent me on here. We're getting tests. They're, they've been putting me on different medicines to see to get the fluctuations. And um, just watching me. They've got me on a low sodium diet, which heck, I needed it anyways. No big deal. Um, it's not the end of the world. Excuse me. Um, 
because my motto this year, and I had told my husband this a couple months ago, this year I was going to make it where I don't live to eat. You know what I'm saying? I eat to live. And instead of getting together and having these big, huge dinners with family, why don't we get together and just just have a get together. Why do we have to have food involved, you know? Why do we all have to like pile up with all the goodies? So don't get me wrong. I love me a steak and a baked potato and all the fixings. And I'm not a sweet person. Like if you, if you were to come in my house, you're not gonna find cakes and cookies and candy and all that stuff. You're gonna find chips and crackers and like, uh savory stuff like that salty i'm a salty person i like i love salty food so that's probably why i'm in the predicament i'm in right now uh -uh. but after i got over the initial shock and everything you know it it has brought me to my attention that there's lots of people that have congestive heart failure and they live for years it's not like you know it's the end of the world. They have medications to help you. They have ways to help you live your life longer. And not, this girl is not giving up yet. I'm not. I'm not giving up. By no means am I giving up. Um, and while I'm here in, in Florida, for some reason, I can't comment on people's videos. And I can't comment back when somebody re does, it says something about... Um, out of the viewing, something about being out of the viewing area that that feature's not equipped to where I'm at right now. I have no idea what that means, but, um, so I'm just thinking it's because I'm in a totally different state and I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just speculating. So I am still on my oxygen. I've gotten where through the day, like, I'll take it off and just lay it across the air and just sit here in the bed without it. Um, I'm just, oh, look at that pretty face. I think Teresa did an amazing job, guys. And Shelly, look at that hair. I mean, for real, look at that hair. That is a root job for real. <laughs> I really love this baby. And I'm so glad when I told my husband, I said, would you bring me a doll? And he says, which one? I said, my new one. Not that I'm not saying that I don't love my little silicone. I do. It's just, um, she's extremely heavy. And I just wanted to, I wanted to hold this one. And she's just, she's my go-to baby right now. Um, I do have my my Levi that is going to be rooted, and I'm going to have him with dark, luscious, beautiful hair. I want him to have dark, beautiful, dark hair. And it's going to be a little boy. So, um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm doing better. Last night, wasn't too good. I was a, I was a mess. I was a mess. I was uh, emotional. I was scared because <clears throat> I don't leave my house because I'm scared to get sick. I'm scared to get COVID again. I'm scared to be around anybody and to get sick and I'm scared I'm going to die and leave my loved ones. I'm also scared to be at home alone and die alone. And I just come to the conclusion I'm scared to die. And right now I'm fine, but sometimes when I get to talking about this subject, I get my anxiety gets really, really over the top and I can't control it. I feel like I'm hyperventilating 
and my husband's like, you know, you got to calm down. You got to calm down. And it's very hard to calm down when that is one of your biggest, biggest fears is dying. And everyone tells me if you're right with God and if you believe in God, then you know, you, you know where you're going to go. True. But what if you are still unsure? You're still unsure of the unknown. And you're still unsure. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. You're still unsure of the unknown. You're still uh, just. And I love my husband so much. That I've been looking forward to these years where my kids are grown and not at home and we could have our me time and date again and do things. And I hate to where we just reach that where our, chil our children are working. They're talking about getting their own places and things like that. And we've reached this point and it's right there to grasp my hand and I could lose him. I'm not, I'm not ready to let him go by no means. Um, he is the only person in this world that I feel safe with. He is the only person in this world that I feel I can be myself no matter what. Um, he loves me unconditionally. He loves me if my hair is in a nasty mop on the top of my head and I'm looking like a hot mess. Or he loves me with my hair just down and my makeup done up and he just loves me. He loves he loves everything about me. And I feel the same way about him. And I'm not saying that we've found each other again. I'm saying that we're at this point in our lives where I want to date my husband, you know? I want to start dating again and start doing stuff with him. And and I'm not ready to strike out yet, you know? And I've had everybody going, you know, different people going, what are you, what are you going to do about this? Um, uh, you need to get serious about this. You, you can't, you can't be jacking around with your life. This is, this is, this is something not to play with. Well, you know what? I know it's nothing to play with. I know it's nothing to play with. I'm, I'm furious with myself. That I didn't care enough about myself to do something about this. I'm furious with myself. That I didn't love myself enough. Because if I had loved myself and cared about myself, I would not be sitting here right now. At all. I would not be sitting in this predicament right now. Mm. And I'm not trying to get anybody's sympathy or anything. I'm just talking from my heart. I'm talking from that, that place where I want to be real raw because what if in a few years you know this comes up and my husband sees it <clears throat> I want him to know I want my children to know that how proud I am of them and how every little quirky thing they do and and say and and Every little hair on their head, every every inch of them, I love, and I'm so proud of them. <laughs> I need to calm down. I don't need to get my heart rate up. That's not a good thing to do. Um, that's what I, I'm going to have problems with because I stress so much. 
and I had a lot of anxiety, then I know that's probably what makes my heart flutter a lot. And I didn't know it was fluttering, but I'm sure it does. But I'm not out of this, I'm not out of the race. I'm not out of the game. I'm here. And as soon as I get out of here, I'm coming out and I'm coming swinging. And I'm fixing to get my life back on track. And I'm fixing to start losing weight again. And, I, and I'm fixing to do stuff for myself. And, and love myself. I'm fixing to love myself. That's what I'm fixing to do. Love myself. And to all those friends that I've shut you out, I'm sorry. When I get in a space like I've been in, where I'm so down in despair, I don't, I don't want people to see me the weakest. Um, I didn't want people to to see that, because everybody knows me as my fun-loving, goofy self. And I'm happy-go-lucky, and that's that's normally who I am. And I love that part about me. But I am sorry I've shut my friends out. Um, I find it's easier just to shut them out and deal with my problems without including other people. And, yeah. And I know I talk some heavy stuff from looking at this beautiful baby. She's just so beautiful. Look at the baby. I just love this baby. I have loved this sculpt for a long time. And I'm glad I got to get her. I'm glad that she is mine. My little Shelby Lynn. I just, Teresa did an amazing job. An amazing, amazing job. I'm absolutely in love with her. And her hair. I can't get over her hair. Shelly will be rooting more babies for me, if she'll do it. So, anyways, you guys have a wonderful, I think today's Tuesday. Have a wonderful Tuesday. I love you. I love you, babies. You guys, be good to one another. Bye.